Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah Khan here. And today we see the first type of encoder that is the priority encoder. All right. A question arised in our mind in the last video. Today we have an answer for that. All right. So the priority encoder, all right? So let's say, let's say we take uh, an example of the 4 cross 2 encoder, all right? Uh, so over here, yes, right over here. You know, now if we have a 4 uh, inputs to this encoder, we will have 2 outputs. You know how. So this is a 4 cross 2 encoder. All right, these are the outputs and four inputs. All right, I naught, I one, I two, and I three, and we have the outputs O one and O two. Let's say. Now, what does the priority encoder does? So, so that's a question. What does it do? The priority encoder. You have to set a priority, either. A lower priority or a high priority that is your choice you have to set priority let's say I say that this I not has the least priority now this is your choice okay I am supposing that this I not has the least priority and I suppose I3 to have the most priority which means the priority is increasing from i not to i3 now what does this mean so for example i have an i3 on i3 a high in this case and i2 a high in this case so the priority of i3 is high i can only transfer one of them to the outputs so which means i3 has greater priority so i will transfer I3 to the output. That depends on your choice. That depends on the priority you set. Now the priority that I have set, that states what? That this I3 is more prior, so it will be transferred first. All right, so we have a truth table for it. So let's say we have the inputs um, I3, I2, I1, I0. And then the outputs, uh, output 1 and output 2. All right? So these are it. So now we fill them up, all right? And, how, uh, and, and, and we start together, okay? So let's say first we start from zeros, all right? So if all of them are zeros, which means none of them is high, so the output is a don't care to us. All right? If it's a high, if it's a low, if we don't care all right now let's say we have i30 i20 i10 and this i not is high so what will happen in this case this uh, the outputs would be both zero all right now uh, in this case zero zero if if I1 is high, so then we have what? I1 has more priority than I0, so I0 is a don't care to us. We don't care whatever I0 is, and the value at the output would be uh, I0, I output 1 would be 0, and output 2 would be 1. Similarly, now if you have a 0, and now if you have a 1, I, output two is, uh, I2 two is 1, so I2 is more prior than I1 and I0, so we don't care about this I1 and I0. And we, we set the outputs as what? As a 1, 0. And finally, if I3 is high, so, so we don't care about I2, I1 and I0. So we don't care about I2, I1, and I0. And we set the output as, we don't set, the encoder sets the output as 1, 1. 
So this is it, all right. And and what do you have now? So so we draw the K maps for it, and we we try to predict the result, all right. So let's say over here I draw a over here. 16 cells map. All right. I hope this green color doesn't cause a problem to you. So we have how many inputs? I3, I2, I1 and I0. All right. So they would be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now this game app, you will find a little confusing. This is just a little different than what? Than the previous game apps, all right? So let's fill it together, okay? So let's say we have uh, for the output 1, let's say. So for the output 1, we have a don't care, all right? Then we have a 0, and then we have a 0. All right, till here it was in the proper order. Now, what would this value be? All right, in this case, we have I1 and I0 as high, okay? So, if uh, I1 is high, okay, if I1 is high, so we don't care about I0 and the others, so which means that this output is a zero over here. You see, I1 is high, all right? Now, in the next case, I2 is high, whenever I2 is high, which means in these two particular rows, in this row and in this row, I2 is high, so the output O1 is a 1. All right, so we fill them up with 1s. And finally, for this case, when I3 is high, you don't care about others and output is 1, which means I3 is high in, in, in this row and in this row, so you don't care about the others and you just put a one. Is that clear? It's easy, all right? Just this was the difference. And now you group them up and uh, you write the equation, let's say ready to over here for output O1, all right? So the groupings, I can group eight groups. So I have two groups, all right? This is the first group and this would be the second. All right, so for the first group, we have an I2 not changing, and for the second, we have an I3 not changing. All right, so this is about the output O1. This is for O1, all right? Now for O2, we have to draw another 16 cells K map. So we draw it like this. All right. Okay, so I drew it a little large, but that doesn't matter. I3, I2, I1, and I0. Then we have a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And again, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. Now, in this case, what do you do? You have a what? Uh, uh, the first, all of them are 0 for this block. So we have a don't care. All right. Then we have a triple zero one, which means this case. So we have a zero over here again. All right. Now you have a log. When I2 is a one, when I2 is a one, so you have uh, whatever be the values of I1 and I0, the function is zero. So I2 is a one in this row, and it's a one in this row. So which means we have these two rows as zeros, all right? Now in this case, when i3 is a one, so whatever be the other values, the function has to be one, which means i3 is a high in this row and in this row. So now you have to put it a one, 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 one. But now, what do we have to do with this row? It was zero for i2 and it's one for i3 so which means this is acting as a 0 and as a 1. It's connected as a 0 and a 1 both. So which means we have this particular uh, row, this particular row as a 
don't care as I don't care all right so this is I don't care all right okay now what do we have we have these two left which are a zero zero one one I one is high in this case I one is high which means whatever be the values the function has to be high all right and similarly over here we have I one high and I zero doesn't matter because I1 is more prior than I0, okay? So 1, 1. And I3 and I2 are both zeros in this case, which means which means we are talking about this particular row, this particular row. I3 and I2 are both zeros, and I1 is high. Whatever value be of 0, I0, the output O2 will be high, which means these two blocks are now high. Is that clear? Okay, now we group them up. So this is the first group. We have a group of eight ones, all right? Uh, and I write it over here, the output O2. And this is what? This is I3. And similarly, we have the next group, which is this one. By the map rolling, uh, sorry, sorry, not this one. We have it from here. And what does this stand for? Uh, this is for uh, I, I, I2 complement or I2 complement and what? I1 and I0 complement. I1, I0 complement. Alright, is that fine? So I remove this, okay? And I believe I did a mistake, okay? Uh, I2 complement was not changing. That's fine. I1 is not changing, but I0 is changing. Okay, so we don't have an I0 over here. Okay, this was the mistake. And now I remove this. Uh, okay, so now what do we have? We have, uh, let's say, let's say I, I take the colors. I have this as. I I not. We don't require I not though, okay? Then we have an I one. Uh, for I two. And I three. All right. And now you have what? You have OR gates. So this is the first OR gate. Let's say which will give you the output 1 and then you have an AND gate oh I'm sorry for the drawing okay I always am this is the AND gate and the OR gate or here we'll have the output 2 okay so now for the first for output 1 we have an I2 or with I3 so which means this red color and this green color so this will give you output one now for the output two we have an i3 or with so this is i3 given to the or gate or with i2 complement and it two so i2 complement so first we take i2 then we give it to a night gate and then over here i2 complement to i1 and now finally you give it to what? You give it to this OR gate. So this is the inside circuitry of this box. 4 cross 2 encoder is this one, the priority encoder, okay? That's all about today. That's all about this lecture and about the priority encoders. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah, in which we discuss another type of the encoders. Till then, take care of yourself and everyone around you. Goodbye.